I think this is a cool concept. This Halloween, teal could be the new orange, and that means you may spot some unusual pumpkins outside homes. CBS 2's Christine Lazar shows us how teal pumpkins could make Halloween trick-or-treating safer for kids. Halloween can be a scary time for 11-year-old Allie Lynch, but not for the reasons you may think. Sometimes they're giving out like Reese's peanut butter cups and I can't have those. Allie has a severe food allergy to peanuts. This is the Avi Q. She wears medicine in a pack around her waist in case she ever goes into anaphylactic shock. So a holiday like Halloween, which is centered around collecting candy, could prove deadly for Allie and the growing number of children with food allergies. And that's where the Teal Pumpkin Project comes in. I think it's a wonderful uh, advancement for a parent and a family to learn how to incorporate these great holidays uh, safely. This Halloween, families are encouraged to place a teal-colored pumpkin or a flyer with one on it at their door if they're offering things like stickers or toys as an alternative to candy. We get that that is what Halloween is all about, but we would love it so that kids with food allergies can at least have the idea that they can participate and also feel safe. Dr. Robert Eiches is a pediatric allergist. He says Halloween is especially dangerous to kids with food allergies because individually wrapped candy often doesn't have its ingredients listed. And I've had patients who have had severe reactions from a candy that they thought did not have tree nuts. They were told did not have tree nuts or peanuts that did. The Food Allergy Research and Education Organization, or FAIR, the group behind the Teal Pumpkin Project, has seen its original Facebook post urging families to go teal this Halloween shared more than 38,000 times, reaching nearly 4 million people. They hope families with and without allergies take part. Supporters of the Teal Pumpkin Project are quick to point out that they are not anti-candy. They just ask that if you do hand out sweet treats, you put them in a separate bowl. In Beverly Hills, I'm Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News. What's going on, Tubers? Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, get this out. <laughs> you know about the Peanuts gang. You know you like that Halloween shirt. Look at that. I've had this for a couple of years. And I said, this topic, let me go ahead and throw this classic Peanuts gang t-shirt on. Bear with me, I'm coming down with a cold. Oh, man. I've been fighting it for the past two days. Some on that cough med and that green tea with that lemon, honey, and ginseng. Oh. Now candy this year, but I'll keep that in mind to go till in the future for kids who have food allergies. Very interesting. Ah. See, I would get real creative with it though. I'm already thinking ahead, you know what I mean? What I would do is I would get, uh, I would have the little sorry, well, I'll have a thing of candy for the kids and then for the other kids who can't have M&Ms or anything like that. What I'll do is I'll put out like a, a bowl or something that has like uh, these little gel type glow in the dark little toys that stick to you like little spiders or little ghosts or pumpkins or whatever. That's what I would do. I'll put them in like a little cube, a little tiny little cube. Put like a sticker and maybe like a, uh, yeah, one of those little gel stickable toys. And uh, maybe a, a pencil, a little baby pencil, but not one that's sharp already. Just a little, or uh, something like that. That's what I'll do. I can see myself doing something like that in the future. Too. And I actually like the concept too. It's pretty cool. So yeah, I think that'll be cool. The Go Till project. 
kids the food they want to use. So to this, this is my favorite time of the year, the fall season, autumn. I'm ready for Halloween this Friday. Forensic is also available on iTunes now. So if you want a Blue Jay cut produced by me, you know what I'm saying? You cop that from iTunes, 99 cents on that indie shit. Alright. Feel free to shove. And I'll catch you guys on another one. Uh-huh.